so this tank is really the first process tank in the treatment process. It's part of the activated sludge process. And I can explain once we're up there kind of the role of each of these three channels in which wastewater is held and flows through. Um, as we kind of step aerate the, um, the sludge and raw wastewater that's in there, the reason for that is so that we can kind of control the biology in each one of those tanks. 2000, uh, which was the last upgrade of this plant, but as part of this project we basically tore out all of the process equipment and all of the electrical and redid all of that. So in each of these, underneath each of these fiberglass covers is a series of uh, 54 inch diameter discs. Those discs will splash the water. You can kind of see it there on that one. What they're doing is adding oxygen to the, to the water in those tanks. The reason we add uh, oxygen to that is it's part of the activated sludge process where we're growing bacteria in each one of these tanks that each have its own job in the wastewater process or treatment process. Um, this outer tank, we are setting it to have a dissolved oxygen level of about zero. And then as it goes towards the center, the oxygen level in each one of these tanks increases to about three parts per million. We set this up for what's called biological phosphorus removal. As part of the village's uh, wastewater permit, they got a much more stringent phosphorus limit. So part of this process upgrade is to eliminate or greatly minimize the amount of chemicals that we use as part of the treatment process. And we instead are basically using the varying oxygen levels to do the same treatment, but biologically. Um, as part of the upgrade here, we removed thousands of yards of sand from the bottom of these tanks that had accumulated over the, over the years. That all was hauled out by Pat Sanitary and uh, for land disposal. Um, everything, as I mentioned early, earlier, everything mechanically and electrically here on this tank got upgraded. But the main tanks, the structures themselves, remain unchanged. So process flow, all of the flow comes from the screening building there into this outer channel. From the outer channel it goes to the middle channel, from the middle it goes to the center channel, from the center channel it goes out to these next two tanks, which are the final clarifiers.